Okay, I had a request from Dan Randall about rivets on smoke boxes specifically for 3D printing. And he wasn't sure about how to produce the rivets. So I'm going to quickly go through something here with you now in Fusion 360 um, based on Dan's request. So we start by creating a sketch in the usual manner. to select a plane to work from and working from the front plane in this example uh, first thing i'm going to do is generate a circle of a nominal diameter but on uh, the other plane i'm going to make this 50 millimeter diameter yeah, no. Is where fusion always kind of like as everyone knows sits and decides it's going to do something now we've got our fill of 50 millimeter diameter circle i'm now going to generate an axis in the center nominal length i'm just doing 16 mil it can be any any length it's not necessary to be anything specific in this case and then i'm going to create another circle select the different um, plane to work from again and i'm going to make this also 50 millimeter diameter so that basically we've got one above the other as you can see now i'm going to generate a line 25 millimeters I think that's going in the wrong place. Apologies. Yes, we need it to be on. I need the line to be on the center point of the second circle because this is going to be the defining point for our row of rivets on the smoke box. So now we've got two circles and a line, as you can see. Now at this intersection intersect point. I'm going to generate another circle this time in the front plane that we started with and we're going to make these 0.75 millimeter diameter roughly a similar size to a, um, a 5 8 7 8 size rivet that you could get on a locomotive okay so this is what we've got this is where we start from and this is all we need to basically start the the whole process of building a smoke box so i can finish sketch and now the next option is to select the bottom circle and we do an extrusion in the normal manner so i can i'm going to raise this uh, let's say let's do 50 millimeters again as a new body so now we have as you can see a, a cylinder 50 mil diameter 50 mil length i now need to reactivate the sketch because we're going to now take the 0.75 mil diameter circle we're going to do another extrusion but now we're going to extrude two sides because it will need to extrude back into the cylinder because currently it's on the face so side one in theory is the front which will extend out and then side two is the rear and this doesn't need a, a very large figure and we're going to change the operation to new body so now we have our cylinder which is the basically the smoke box and we have what will become a rivet so if we now look here we've got two separate bodies so this one now this is going to, which is going to form the rivet we're going to fill it and let's start with 0.3 millimeter as a rolling ball constant radius press ok then we can just rotate 
and we can see that that hasn't gone all the way to the side of the smoke box side so if i click here right mouse click edit feature and we change this figure to 0.35 okay and then we can see we've got much better representation of a domed rivet now on our smoke box so dan's dan's real question was how do you generate a circumference of rivets now or you know, a set of rivets that go all the way around the outside of the smoke box so we now go back to our <clears throat> our body either click there or click on it and in create we go down to pattern circular pattern now we've got one body selected we now need to select the axis that we're going to generate all the additional rivets around so click on axis we can now click on our center vertical line which is the axis for the two circles and distribution is full so it goes all the way around and that currently the quantity is three and you can see just here and here we've got two additional bodies up here so if i now change that to a 150 you can see straight away we get a lot more rivets being um, produced in, in currently skeletal form until we press the OK. I'll press OK. You see on the left hand side here all these additional bodies appear for all the independent rivets. If I close that and now remove the sketches or switch the sketches off, you can see we have a nice set of rivets around the edge of this cylinder or smoke box so i hope that's useful to anybody that's looking at doing this in 3d and uh, certainly for mr dan randall i hope it's helpful for you as well sir thank you everybody